On this video, I am looking at the serve and return for mixed doubles. So this is just very basic positioning. So let's get to it. So in this case, ladies are gonna be in red and the men are in yellow. So let's take the server and this is lady to lady. So of course, we are looking for a good serve. That's what is, is gonna be the most important shot in the game. So we want the lady to be near the front and playing as tight as she can into whichever weak zone you may have decided upon in your tactics. So let's just spend some time with, with a partner. Like we did in level doubles, Depending on the quality of this player, you may find a base more centre court, so they're really pushing to shut out all this zone. Or, if you're an older player like me, haven't got quite the same mobility, you might find that that plays a little bit further back because it's easier to come forward than it is to go backwards. So the idea is, always try and take out this mid-court and pick the shuttle up as early as possible. I said in a previous video, as far as I'm concerned, I see the mid-court as the castle wall. This is the outer wall and this is the castle here. If my opponents can raid this and I'm hitting up from here, the next stage is they're gonna take the castle and I'll lose the net. And I don't wanna lose the net in a game of badminton. So, this plays an important role here, and that is to make sure that they can cover these shots into the mid court, but also cover the shots into the rear court. Even if they have to clear the shuttle and hit a length, it's better to do that than not be able to get there and then hit short. It's the last thing we need in, a, in any game. So, from the position of serving, when the lady is serving, we seem very comfortable and there's usually very little confusion as to who he's going to stand where. The issue comes when the man is serving. Now this is where I start to find one or two very, very basic issues. I have seen, let, let's get the man serving on the right hand side. There have been times where the man is all the way up here, but he still wants his lady in front of him. Now, that to me is completely nonsensical. How can you serve from there and expect to get out to those corners? Or to get around, because this now becomes a bit of a blind spot, doesn't it? So it makes no sense for a man to be stood so far forward. So many of you are doing that. Learn to serve from a bit further back. Now, let's just assume for now this player is serving backhand. When the shuttle is served from the right side, there seems to be a consensus that his partner stands to the left. Now, this is where some of the myths Get, get in the way. There seems to be this thinking that she's there to cover his backhand. Now, unless that lady is superhuman, anybody who lifts the shuttle into that corner, this player is not intercepting anything. So, what is her function? First and foremost, she is there to take any shots into this zone and to try and intercept what she can that may be trying to be pushed into this area. That's her job and she is to cover those as well. Now if she's doing that, she's doing a great job. If the shuttle is played very fast down there, then the last thing you need is someone to clip the, the shuttle, clip in the racket and losing a point. If a shuttle is hit quick, it is not her role to intercept it. So, 
with that in mind, when the man has served, he needs to move quickly to get into a base position somewhere in the mid-court behind a lady and it's his job to try and take those. Now, we kind of all agree on this, but as I say, there are always issues and it's usually the men that cause them as well. Let's have a look at this side. Now this is where we have the problems, don't we? This is where we have men wanting players or lady to be on all sides. Generally, at certain levels, we still see the lady over here. Now that is not how it's played at international level. And it's not played at that at county level, neither. So what is the reason behind this? Well, I think it's come from the fact that years ago, we used to serve forehand. And if you think about it, if I was serving forehand and I'm there, I'm striking the shuttle at that point there. I'm playing into court. Now I'm striking the shuttle on this side of me. And some men will say, I need to be able to see all the areas on court. However, 90% of shots are going to be going in this zone with a slight variation and there's no reason why you still can't hit most of that area if you're a good server. But men seem to want the lady on here with that caveat, you're protecting the backhand. Well, we've already discussed that. Any shot lifted and that player is out of the game. They are protecting nothing. From here, that shot is going to be lifted. It's very rare it's going to be driven. And if it is, this player is no chance of intercepting. So it makes no sense whatsoever to have that player on this side. The only time they are going to be useful over there is if this player can manoeuvre with their hands and rack it to send a shuttle over here. That is a rarity and you have to have some really good skill to be able to put a shuttle there off a serve. So, why are we still allowing that lady to be over there where she's actually not performing much of a function at all? As I say, I think it came from the old way of serving where men were serving forehand into that zone. Let's have a look up where I believe the lady should be. You see, let's just take the old 80-20 rule here and apply it. And we'll just switch around for a minute and put the man back on that side. Whenever I serve into that area, irrespective of whether I'm playing a right-hander or a left-hander, 80% of shots will go into this half of the court because that is a natural swing. On the backhand side, the natural swing is that way. For a left-hander, forehand side, the natural swing is that way. So, from someone receiving a serve there, 80% at least are going in that zone. This half of the court. If it's soft, the lady's in position. So, if we take that principle and we flip it to the other side, the old 80-20 rule still applies. 80% will still go over there because left-handed, backhand, the shot's going that way. Right-handed, forehand, naturally, the racket wants to swing in that direction. So, it makes sense that the difficult shot is going to be somewhere over here. If a lady's over there, look at the angle you're asking her to retrieve a shot and the distance whereby if she's there, 
she's already stood waiting for the shot, it's very unlikely to go there. So we've shut that area out. Now I know what you'll be thinking, but what about that side? Well, haven't we already said, for any player to play that shot, they have to be able to move to the net and be able to manoeuvre against themselves. That is really hard to do. And I think you'll rarely find that. If so, the shuttle will probably come over there. And if a lady's there, that's not a great distance to be able to intercept that shuttle. We're not gonna let it get to its resting place. We're gonna take it where it's crossing the net. So she is better on that side of the court. So I think that at certain levels, this is already sorted. At good level, we already all know this, but beginning, intermediate level, this is where the confusion happens and we need to get this right. It will make a big difference to your game. So unless the man is serving forehand and he finds this line in is too tight, then he could put his player just on, around the tee. The lady can easily just move a little bit out of the way to give him room. That's all we need. There should be enough space to get into those areas. So, that is a server. I think we've kind of gone through all the areas that we need to cover on this video in terms of serving in mixed doubles and where our partner needs to be. On the next video, we'll talk about returns.